how do you complement age-old traditions with sharp new branding in the distilling industry? Monocle Films visits three craft makers in New York State, the south of Spain and the Japanese hillsides who are engaging new generations as well as cultivated enthusiasts with their unique blends of gin, sherry and whiskey. We founded this distillery in July of 2015 um, with the idea that we wanted to make an unconventional take on classic spirits. We make three products currently, our small batch vodka, our American gin, and our cast strength bourbon barrel gin. Our cast strength bourbon barrel gin is released just once every six months. The product starts as a neutral spirit that we will redistill in house uh, with our medley of 12 botanicals. Our American gin is a one of a kind gin. You get tons of juniper up front, but a mid palate, a big bloom of spice with cardamom and grains of paradise. We only have two employees at the distillery other than the founders, so when it comes time to bottle or package, it's all hands on deck. Everything is bottled using a manual bottling machine. Everything's hand signed, hand labeled, and sealed, put into boxes by the four of us here at the distillery. The entire brand aesthetic is really a modern interpretation of the Tommy Rotters Club. That Western New York arts and crafts movement was really focused on uh, clean design, straight lines, very geometric. So everything we do is a little bit of a more modern, even cleaner take on that. And this kind of rebellious craftsman persona really resonated with us and we thought offered a great parallel to what's going on in the food and drink world right now going back to making things by hand and obsessing over the details. Maria Romero has reimagined the simple sherry in San Luca de Barameda in the south of Spain. Her family's been producing sherry since 1830 and her two-year-old label, Mar Siete, takes this traditional process and unique flavors to a new level with her sharp eye for design. When I was a child, I went with my father to the winery and I smelled the different mm, wines. Uh, manzanilla, Oloroso, Amontillado. So it made me appreciate this wine. Manzanilla is a very special wine because you can only produce in San Lucar. It's a wine aging biologically with pale golden color. It's bright and clean. It smells like um, chamomile, yeast, and on the palate, it's dry, delicate, very nice. When I opened the shop about two years ago, I want to, to keep some barrels of the familiar winery. Our aim is to offer a small production but keeping quality. We are a um, young winery and um, to um, make this wine attractive to young people, we have to change the image. We want to keep traditional because this wine, the winery are very traditional, but we want to offer something modern. Here in San Luca, you can't find a wine shop like this. Sitting serenely in the hills of Saitama is the hands-on Chichibu distillery. The very first batch that was released sold out in a day and the unique blend is testament to the quality of Japanese whiskey. No new distillery had been opened in Japan for over three decades when Ichiro Akuto decided to start his whiskey venture. He found success in his first batch in 2008 to the most recent bottles thanks to his commitment to creating something memorable and unexpected. Uh, 
It is these carefully crafted flavours and experimentations that have earned the fledgling brewery high praise, a loyal following and accolades to boot. え、each of these three bottles has been perfected by their master makers by focusing on substance over style, but not leaving their artistic flair behind altogether. 